let us understand what actually is context in an operating system or a real time operating system and what is context switching to understand context switching you will first require to understand what does context mean the context of a process the context of a task or a thread whatever it may be context is a collection of information or data used by that task or thread during its execution so typically the context contains a program counter it contains the memory address of the next instruction to be executed by the task the next stack pointer which holds the address or points to the top of the thread stack which is used to store local variables function calls and other stack related information then general purpose registers let's suppose if the thread or your application is running on arm architecture then r0 r1 r2 like till r30 of the arm cpu registers these registers store temporary data and intermediate results during thread execution and then some thread specific information like threads priority name state if threads are scheduled using round robin scheduling policy then the remaining time of the time slice of the task and if the thread is delayed or put to sleep then how many ticks remaining for it uh, to come out of delay or sleep okay now where this information or data which is called as context related to each thread or a task is stored when a task or a thread or a process is created it gets its own data structure called task or thread control block tcb or process control block pcb this context or the information or the data related to each thread is stored in this tcb or pcb now that we talked about context let's talk about context switching context switching is simply stopping a current thread and executing another thread which is eligible to run so now there are different reasons that this thread or task switching happens like if the currently executing task is blocked or waiting as it is trying to acquire a mutex and the mutex is not available or if the currently executing task is trying to receive a message or read a message from the message queue and the message queue is empty so the task is blocked or waiting in this case a context switch happens or if the task is put to sleep or delayed for certain amount of ticks or microseconds or milliseconds then context switch happens and next eligible task is executed by the cpu or if due to round robin scheduling policy the currently running tasks time slice is over so these are some examples like when and why the context switch occurs now let's see what actually happens during context switching let's suppose a task 1 of high priority was in progress of execution and the task 1 delayed itself and the next eligible task 2 let's say lower priority than task 1 gets a chance to run say for example task 1 is delayed for 1 second then before cpu actually starts execution of task 2 the context of task 1 is saved in its task control block or a thread control block and cpu is loaded with the details of task 2 before starting its execution now when the delay of 1 second of the task 1 is completed then the reverse happens as task 1 which is of high priority is now ready to run task 2 has to stop so now the context of task 2 is saved in its tcb and cpu is loaded with the context of task 1 from task 1's tcb and resumes execution of task 1 hope this brief video helped you understand the basics of uh, context and context switching thank you